and I do respect your view because it's better to err on the side of caution, um, in my opinion, as well. So I am mindful of that. So thank you. I appreciate the reminder. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Anybody else, Mr. Mick? Hold on, Mr. Mix. You don't get off that easy. Mix? Or Mills, I'm sorry. Mix, Mills. Well, uh, Mr. Mills, sorry. Uh, anybody else? So, uh, you know, one thing I'd like to commend is, you know, last year our actual sales tax revenue was, what, $24,600,000 plus thousand dollars. <coughs> And uh, when Mr. Mills projected that the year before, uh, a revenue of $24,600,000, he was off by, by minimal, minuscule. Uh, so he, he, there's, there's a great amount of work detail time that Mr. Mills puts into uh, to looking at these numbers. and. and, and you know, what is bothersome to me is when people are out there, especially members of council, uh, saying that, you know, council and you have contrived a budget deficit in 2027 oh. or contrived and made up numbers. Do you do that? Do you, you make stuff up that's not true? I'm extremely offended by that comment or thought. Yeah. Okay, so I put a lot of time and effort in those budgets have for 20 years and working with every city manager I've worked with, huge Excel file with projections and formulas and go line by line, expense topic by expense topic from payroll in terms of what's under collective bargaining and what's not, our conversations with retirement actuaries at the state level, sales tax hydro looking at the production and consumption that we use at city facilities, projecting our capital plan in terms of what we should pay for in cash that year versus what we'll issue with debt and then projecting out debt service schedules. All my assumptions are always in that forecast and I lay it out every year. Ms. Saunders can verbatim almost do it every time for me because mm -hmm. um, we joke about that as I'm about to do it and I kind of pause and say which one of those assumptions don't sound reasonable and I never get any rebuttal. So I stand by those forecasts. I put a lot of time into it. And if for some reason people think I'm doing it for political reasons. <laughs> I just, I think it's highly inappropriate yeah. for anybody on this body to accuse you of that because, uh, and suggest that to the public. It's just not fair as a depart to a department head. It's not fair to the community uh, to say that uh, you're doing this for political reasons, that you're making up numbers, you're contriving deficits, uh, Given your track record and your history uh, and the amount of time that you put into it, it it's just really not fair. And, and th that sort of stuff has got to stop. It, it really is disingenuous and, and it's a slap in the face uh, to you and other department heads mm -hmm. when that occurs. And it should just, just not end. So uh, I, I appreciate that. I, I just want to stand up for the, for the department heads and, and give you the chance when, when that stuff Fair. is is presented um, uh, to, to, to do that. So right, Mr. thank Mills, you. I have a question, Mayor. Okay. And first of all, you're mischaracterizing what I said. All right, so the public understands this. What Are we building a new DPW building? Is that our understanding that we're going to do that? It's in our capital plan, as yes. staff sometimes gets accused of not repairing and keeping our assets up, we are showing that there is a need for that. Okay, so that's what staff has determined. Well, we've correct? passed and, and voted on a capital, capital budget, budgets, right? Capital budgets, councils approved the first year. The rest is where staff shows and feels the work needs to be done on infrastructure, okay. buildings, parks, etc. How much? We have to lay out a, a plan. I understand. All right, and I'm not questioning your ability to do the numbers and your integrity or any of that, but what I'm saying is this is that there were items I saw in the budget that were in there. And we should talk that, about it during yes, the budget and take them out so we have and reasonable forecasts. But if we didn't do those two things, and that also this building here, I think we were estimated to be spending $11 million or something close to $12 million on the repairs in of the this building. In close to that. plan, I think it's only at five. Okay. After we cut back what we thought so that was... So my we, forecast is based on the five, Yeah, okay. Not the so, 11. But the DPW building, if we were to do that, would be how much that would add to the total cost in the capital budget. I, have that on the top I think of it was around right now, 14 million. 
And so, you know, when I see something like that, and then I see a TV a story come out that says we're projecting a $9 million deficit in 2027, you know what I think? I think I did not vote for that DPW building as yet. It may be in the budget. It's a projection. It's something Forecast. we'd like to do. Yes. I tried to show counsel. I understand that. And yep. I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying the story came out. It was very specific about what the city faced, and it was used for political purposes, I believe, in my opinion. I am entitled to my opinion because it came out at a time when there's an election going on, and certain candidates are running on fiscal responsibility. And so am I. I am fiscally responsible. For you to mischaracterize what I said, Mayor, is irresponsible and reckless because it's not what I, I said. Just, it's mischaracterizing what I said. I what I simply said was that the eight, $14 million for the DPW building, wherever, if ever, we decide to do it, is to be determined. TBD. I, I TBD. Would, I would you know what that means? I would encourage the public okay. to look at the words that were said. Yes. They weren't, weren't contrived. You, you're not contriving the numbers. That it's was what was passed and voted on in the budget, <clears throat> in the capital budget. It wasn't voted on last week. So oh, I think, again, you do a great job. And I, I think it's, it's uh, horrible that people accuse you for contriving numbers and doing it for political reasons. So thank you, Mr. Mills. Yes, thank you. Um,